Historic cicada pop is expected to impact much of the Midwest in the coming months. For the first time since the 1800s, two broods will emerge and the Wabash Valley could get in on the action. David Shepard has more on what you can expect. Well, there's good news and there's bad news when it comes to the upcoming cicada pop. The good news is they're not harmful to humans or pets. They don't sting. They don't bite. The bad news is they can be quite annoying. And this year, experts warn they're going to be worse than normal. Get ready. The Midwest could see a historic cicada pop this year with two different broods expected to awaken from their underground slumber. The last time two broods have coincided was 1803 when Thomas Jefferson uh, was president. That's Will Drews. He's an entomologist with the Indiana Department of Natural Resources. He says Terre Haute is right on the line of where the expected double pop is expected to occur starting as early as next month. What most likely is going to be seen around the Terre Haute area is going to be the 13-year brood. Um, and that brood's uh, brood 19. And that's on top of the annual cicadas that make an appearance each year. The last time our area saw a periodical brood surface in 2021, some local trees were impacted. The tips in their trees dying back, uh, that's what we will most likely see, especially for that 13-year um, periodical cicadas that are in the nearby area. Most likely the majority of that's going to be more in Illinois, but you could, especially along the Wabash here, see some trees with that same characteristic. At the Apple House in Terre Haute, owner Tom Cummins says he's preparing for the cicada invasion. Trying to stock up on things that uh, uh, nettings and uh, uh, what's called a harvest cover or uh, uh, it's just a white cloth that's actually for frost but it can also work very well against cicadas. The biggest concern for anybody in their landscape is anybody with smaller ornamental trees uh, or young trees. They're, that's where the potentially is the most damage. But what you'll really notice? The sound. Everyone comes up at once for this big mating party basically and so you have all of these the males are the ones that make the noise you have all these males um, making a lot of noise because there's a large concentration in one area it's going to be a noisy spring that is for sure for more information on the expected cicada pop here in the wabash valley this spring you can log on to our website mywabashvalley.com reporting in Terre Haute, i'm david shepherd